Mm, I want to show you all this nice little uh, letter I got today from the Laurel Police Department. Oh, I was going to say my address, damn it. I'll just show you all the header for the thingy. So it's from the Laurel Police Department, yada yada. Uh, this is another funny one. So I had filed two complaints on the Laurel Police Department. Uh, one on an officer and one on the office manager, Ruth Hyatt. Um, ultimately for violating the Maryland Public Information Act law. So they said that in the allegations against the police officer, specifically Sergeant Boswell, the investigation failed to produce any sufficient evidence of any misconduct or violation of agent policy, agency policy. Uh, so no wrongdoing on the uh, part of the officer, they said. But in the matter of the allegations against office manager Hyatt, the agency did determine that a violation of MPIA law did occur. While Maryland law precludes that the release of detailed information to the public regarding the specific nature of the administrative slash disciplinary action for civilian employees, rest assured that the action has been taken and the office manager Hyatt has been informed that behavior of this type is unacceptable to the law and police department. The Law and Police Department prides itself on its professionalism and dedication to the community it serves. We thank you for taking the time to reach out to us and share your concerns, and we regret that you had a ne negative experience. Please do not hesitate to contact the Law and Police Department in the future if you have any other concerns. So, uh, that was a funny one. They did say that the, the manager ultimately violated policies and has been reprimanded in some way, shape, or form. I'm sure nothing probably happened. They probably just gave her a stern little talking to. Probably told her, don't do that shit again. When he comes in with the camera, don't do that. Waved a finger at him. But, you know, it was just cool to see that they actually uh, said that instead of just being like, oh, nope, didn't find any wrongdoing with her either. Sorry. As with all these people, it's all about payback. Revenge. They want their opponents to be punished. It's all about power. In this next clip, he illustrates beautifully the traits of a narcissist. Lack of empathy. Note his preamble. What are they going to do for me? Are they going to respect me? I, me, my. Not a peep about how he's going to sincerely respect them. Condescending attitude, annoying sir, which doesn't fool anybody. Threats, blaming the people he's dealing with, and the glee with which he overhears the police on the phone saying that it's legal for him to do what he's doing as long as he avoids private areas and personal information. Classic. Alrighty, squad, what's going on out there? Today's journeys bring us into downtown Annapolis. We're out here on West Street at the Department of Human Services. <laughs> Just videotaping. I'm just gathering some content for a story. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Hmm. Do I detect a little OCD here? Everything's always messed up when we go in these places. Did I call it or what? Sir. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Sir. Do you guys not see that I'm engaged in video and audio recording right now? I'm not trying to have a conversation with you. I'd rather not be talking to you either, but here we are. Sir, let's no, not waste. I'm not going to argue back and forth okay, with you, but I have customers voice. in here, then and this is your confidential. Voice. You're taking pictures, and you have them on camera. You're right. Okay? I do. You do as well. Yes. Please. You do as well. Yeah. There's cameras in this building, ma'am. Calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Sometimes the condescension is just too much for me. Excuse me, sir. Can you stop recording? Uh, no, I would like I would like not to. Field Officer Blake. Field Supervisor Blake, I've actually spoken to you on the phone. How you doing, sir? Uh, it's nice to meet you in I'm person. Okay. Nice to meet you too. But nice to meet you in person. In here who do not want to be recorded. I understand. And so I asked. You know, you I, not. and I and I asked them not to speak to me either, but they kept speaking That's to great, me. So. Sir. So everything I'm doing is their fault. Great, okay, sir. This is a First Amendment protected activity. Are you telling me that standing in front of me is the First Amendment protected activity? Yeah, for sure. He can stand wherever he wants. 
I'm not going to expose you to any more of his dipshittery. Besides, his voice is getting to me. He rattles on all his little threats and put-downs until the cops come. They tell the folks at the DHS that he can do this, blah, blah, blah. Then he goes back to the real reason he's there. He asks the cops to make sure that Supervisor Blake is made aware of the law. Revenge. I swear they get off on it. Let me say one more thing. He and the rest of his brainless fools talk about being journalists. We know they are not, because they do not adhere to anything remotely close to journalistic ethics. I'd like them to quote to me the four pillars of the journalist's code of ethics. I dare them. I double-dog dare them. All in all, Annapolis Audit has found his niche and is making bank. Unfortunately, the authorities don't really want to deal with him, so they're letting him get away with doing what he does best, harassing and annoying others. Well, that was pretty short video. However, I think I've made my point. Another narcissistic pain in the, well, backside. Desperately trying to be relevant. Dude, give it up. You could be better than this. As I've said before, get help. It's out there waiting for you. I'd like to thank my marvelous members. Grendel S. Rage, Some Old Dude, Aussie Manda, Bandon, AZ Jeep Girl, Pecker Wood, Florida IG, Joshua Lee, Little Dickens 2, Sean Zeke, and Stephen Alley. You guys are the reason I do this. Thank you. Remember, Script Cat says, when given a choice, choose caramel every time. Bye for now.